Grower pitched in game one today. First game of, of this doubleheader worked the eighth inning. Excuse me, the ninth inning scoreless. Did give up a hit, struck out a batter, and he notched that one save he has on the season. And this is his second appearance in the season. Tyler Grower, left-hander, on the mound for Indiana State. Called upon to get three outs and a save earlier this afternoon. The hope is that he can get six outs or at least get this out. You never know. It could be bullpen by committee as there's a right-hander that now starts to get loose for Indiana State in the bullpen for the Sycamores. But with a lefty in the batter's box behind, the, excuse me, ahead of the count, 3-1, it's the defense that's behind the count, 3-1. It is now Grower who makes this a lefty-lefty showdown. Three balls and a strike. Pitch on its way. Fouled away in the count full, 3-2. and two. It is quite the disparity to see the defensive alignment because, again, everybody but the third baseman well to the right side of the infield. And at that instance, before that pitch, Enos was standing right next to the back. So you had the entire base path between second and third open. Here's the payoff pitch. Lifted down the left field line. It's slicing foul, and it just does cross the line. Mm. Came very close to dropping in fair, but it just continued to hook to the left and it landed to the foul side of the line. And the count remains three and two. Ferguson was already on his way to second at the time he was made aware that it was a foul ball. So he makes his way back to the box. Jake Rucker doing the good teammate thing, retrieving the stick. And now here's the payoff pitch. Three balls, two strikes, nobody out, bottom of the eighth. Tennessee trails 7-5. to five. Indiana State looking to clinch a tie in this series. Lefty versus lefty. Pitch on its way. Swing and a foul tip into the glove, and that's a strikeout. Huge out. And mission accomplished. Indiana State pushing the right buttons. And Ferguson now is out one in the inning. And here's Jake Rucker. That is the ninth strikeout. Make that the tenth strikeout by a Tennessee volunteer today. Left-handed pitcher against the right-handed hitting third baseman Jake Rucker. Tennessee down to its last five outs, down two, seven to five. Pitch misses high and away, ball one. Rucker today, 0 for his first three before his two-run single. Cut the deficit to three. It made it 7-4 to four, Indiana State at the time. Two-run double by Liam Spence. The two-run single by Rucker. Swinging a foul ball to the screen. It's one and one. Seven runs batted in on the season for Jake. Average at 276. Jordan Beck in the on-deck circle. Seven runs, eight hits for Indiana State. Five runs, eight hits for Tennessee. One out, base is empty, bottom of the eighth. Pitch misses inside, two and one, in favor of the Tennessee third baseman. One of five volunteers recognized by at least one outlet as a preseason All-American. Lefty ready on the hill. Ground ball towards third. Fair ball, up with it. Long throw to first, scooped nicely by Fuentes. And that's out number two in the inning score. Tyler Grower came out of the bullpen, and indeed the call has been upheld. And Tennessee down to its last out in the eighth, down seven to five. It was a 3-1 count when Brower came out of the bullpen, immediately got a foul ball, and then a tipped strike 
into the glove, or a tipped ball into the glove of the catcher for the big strikeout. Then just had the hard ground of the third, well handled by Hinas. And now here's Jordan back, who's 0 for 3 today with a walk in this game. Swing and a miss for strike one. Good curveball by Grauer. Beck popped out to second in the first, struck out in the third, popped out to second in the fifth. Walked was left at second in the sixth. Tennessee left the tying runs on base in that five-run uprising. Swinging a foul ball towards right, count quickly 0-2. And again, it has been a day filled with missed opportunities for the Volunteers. Going back to the first game, And then earlier in this contest, Tennessee loaded the bases in back-to-back -back innings, the third and the fourth. If you get just a run in each instance, this could be a tie game. But now Tennessee down 7-5, two out, 0-2 count, bottom of the eighth. Pitch golfed a pop-up on the infield. It's the first baseman calling for it. Fuentes squeezes it. And after coming out of the bullpen, Tyler Grauer. Gets the three batters he faces, and Tennessee is set down in order. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left. We move to the ninth. Indiana State taking aim at a doubleheader sweep, leading Tennessee 7-5 to five on ESPN+. Plus. Home half of the ninth inning. Indiana State looking for three outs and a win. Tennessee needs two runs to tie three to get a split in today's doubleheader. Drew Gilbert, the first man up for the Volunteers, checks his swing on a pitch inside, ball one, as he faces Tyler Grauer, who did such a good job getting three outs last inning. Got a save in game one, looks to make it two for two with a save situation and potentially a six-out save in this nightcap. Pitch a strike at the knees. Gilbert in this game is one for four. Singled as the lead man up in the fourth, was stranded at third as Tennessee left the bases loaded in that inning. Grounded to first, popped to third, had an RBI comebacker to the mound in the sixth. One one. Swing and a miss. Wicked breaking ball from Grauer. There's a new left fielder as Ellison Hannah II has taken over defensively. He is a redshirt senior. In terms of the paperwork, he takes over the spot Max Wright had, the number three spot in the lineup. One ball, two strikes. Pitch to Gilbert. Lined into right field for a base hit. Tennessee will bring the tying run to the plate in this home half of the night. Gilbert Gets his second hit of this game. And it's a good start to the bottom of the ninth. Jarrell Ortega. Right-handed batter against the lefty, Grauer. Ortega came on as a pinch hitter in the bottom of the sixth. Struck out to end the inning. That was against Connor Fenlong. 0 for 1 in this game. Looking for his second hit as a Tennessee ball. His first was a double. Fastball. Swung on and missed for strike one. Or take it to sophomore. Grauer, the senior. Gilbert gets his lead from first against the lefty on the mound. Tennessee now has out hit Indiana State 9-8. But the Sycamores lead 7-5. Strike on the inside corner. Count quickly 0-2. Ortega 
Ortega, a run batted in, four runs scored on the season. Man at first, nobody out, bottom of the ninth. Ortega down in the count, 0-2, to the lefty, Grau. Pitch, fouled away. Count remains the same. The Tennessee designated hitter, Jarrell Ortega, out of the box and now back in. Gilbert, his lead from first. Pitch on its way. Misses low. And it's one and two. Right-handed batter for the Volunteers. Takes his practice cut, now back in. The lefty for Indiana State comes set. He winds and fires. Called strike on the outside corner, and that's out number one here in the ninth. Second strikeout by Grauer in this appearance. He got the last three outs in game one today for his first save of the season. Luke Lipsius, left-handed batter. Do up in this instance, but a quick trip to the mound by Indiana State to talk strategy against the left-handed hitting first baseman. Javin Drake worked four plus innings. They made a change in the bottom of the fifth, but he certainly got his team well on the way to being in this position, and that's the sweep two from the number 15 team in the country, the Tennessee Volunteers. Four hits did not allow a run, walked three, hit one, struck out seven, and twice struck out the side, working in and around Tennessee, loading the bases in the third and fourth innings. Luke Lipsius has been on base twice in this game. He's officially one for three. First pitch, a strike at the knees as they start him on the outside corner. Luke with a single up the middle in the fourth. Walked and scored as part of Tennessee's five-run sixth. Struck out in the seventh, bounced out to first, back in the second. Luke hitting 217 for the season with a home run, three runs batted in, three runs score. Strike again on the outside corner. Count quickly 0-2. Back-to-back fastballs by the lefty reliever for Indiana State. Gilbert opened the inning with a single over the second baseman's head in the right field. A strikeout followed, and now Luke Lipsius behind in the count 0-2. As Grauer checks the runner at first. Pitch on its way. Outside, ball one. Good eye by Luke. With the lefty on the hill, the first baseman Fuentes playing behind the runner, guarding the line against the left-handed hitting Luke Lipsius. One and two. Pitch on its way. Swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, Tennessee down to its last gasp. Evan Russell. One for four in today's game. A single and a run scored in the sixth. Bounced out to second in the seventh. Struck out in the third and fourth inning. Right-handed batter against the lefty for Indiana State. Swing and a miss, strike one. Wicked breaking ball to start the at-bat.
Gilbert at first let off the inning there. Tennessee's been unable to get him any closer to home, and Tennessee needs to play two. Or the twin bill belongs to Indiana State. Low, ball skitters away from the catcher, McGill. One and one to count. Tennessee did break through with two outs as Greer hit his double in the seventh with two outs. He's in the on-deck circle. Wouldn't mind getting another opportunity at it. One ball, one strike, two out. Backs to the wall for the big orange. Called strike on the inside corner, one and two. Tennessee down to its last swing. Russell not so sure about the ruling. But Tyler Simpson is the only opinion that matters in this instance. Indiana State won earlier today three to one, protecting a two-run lead here in the bottom of the ninth, seven to five. One ball, two strikes, two out, tying run at the plate, runner at first. Ground ball foul of third. Count remains the same. Seven runs, eight hits for Indiana State. Five runs, nine hits for the Volunteers. One ball, two strikes, two out. Team bus for the Sycamores backing up. That's the sound you hear. Here's the pitch. Popped up down the left field line. But it is hooking foul and out of play. Missed the bus. Yeah. One ball, two strikes, two out. Tyler Grauer. Trying to shut the door on the Tennessee Volunteers and finish a six-out save to go along with his earlier inning pitched and save in game one. One-two on its way. Swing and a miss in the curveball. The strikeout ends the inning and the ball game, and Indiana State takes both halves of the doubleheader, beating Tennessee in game one, three to one, and in this contest, holding off the Volunteers for a seven to five win. For Tennessee in the ninth, no runs, a hit, one man left, final score from Lindsey Nelson Stadium, Indiana State seven, Tennessee five, for the Sycamores, seven runs, eight hits, no errors. For Tennessee, five runs, nine hits, no errors. The winning pitcher will be Cam Edmondson. He's one and one on the season. Tyler Grauer earns his second save of the year. The loss goes to Tennessee starter Elijah Pleasants, 0 and 1. Indiana State improves to two, uh, three and three on the season, and the Tennessee Volunteers drop to six and two. For Vince Ferrara, I'm John Wilkerson. Thanks for watching on ESPN Plus.